Hey everyone, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial and today I just want to show you a simple technique. You won't need any support files for this one um, but it's kind of a fun way to create patterns in Photoshop and uh, I figure fall's coming up and uh, actually we're in the middle of fall and um, I figured create kind of a pattern uh, with some clipping masks and then adding a pattern behind it with different effects and hue saturation adjustment uh, to create kind of this unique look. So go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop and go to File New and I'm just doing 1600 by 1200 okay uh, first thing you want to do is create kind of a, a pattern in the background so uh, select the brush tool here and uh, click up in this top arrow at the, at the top options. If you don't have either of these, just go to make sure you have tools and options selected. So up on the options panel, uh, if you only see just a couple basic brushes, go ahead and click this side arrow and then uh, go down to special effects brushes. And inside there, there should be kind of a leaf brush. So select that one. All right, and if I click and drag, um, it basically just, you know, I have a couple kind of a scattered effect here, and uh, that's not by default. If you don't have uh, any of the brush options selected, it's going to just make a straight line. So I'll show you how to do that. Go ahead and go to Window, and then Brush, and we need to go to Shape Dynamics, and let's do sh Size Jitter. That's just how often or how much the size differs um, as you click and drag. So let's bring that to 100%. And the angle jitter you can bring to 100% if you want. It's just going to make it rotate a lot. Scattering, if you watch the preview, but if you have it to the left, then it just would create a line. Bring it to the right, it scatters a lot. I'm just going to kind of bring it somewhere about a fourth over. And then color dynamics, let's have foreground, background jitter at 100%, and then hue jitter about 31 or so. And we just want to choose two kind of fall leaf colors, so I just kind of selected a orangish for the foreground. So if you want to pause the video and look at the settings here, the RGB levels, or the six um, digit color code there if you want. And for the background color, just gonna just do kind of a yellowish actually yeah let's do much more of a yellowish there just to make sure they differ somewhat and so if you click and drag now you'll see you get some nice uh, pattern of fall leaves and we just want to kind of cover it up but you don't want it too much because then it just kind of you don't see the leaves the detail as much but something like that should work fine okay so once you have the pattern here if I zoom out you can kinda of see it there um, bring a little bit more there okay go ahead and go to window layers and let's just double click this make it a normal layer and let's press control J or command J on the Mac and that duplicates that layer so now we have two layers same exact thing and press the eye icon. We don't need this, this bottom one for now. Um, go ahead and go to the type tool. Click and let go. And I'm just going to type in fall. And click the move tool. And make sure you have show transform controls up at the top. And just click and drag. If you hold shift, it'll maintain the correct proportion. We just want to make it somewhat larger. And choose a uh, uh, font that is kind of a little bit thicker so we can be able to see some of the content. So press enter once you're done. If you want to change a font, obviously just take the type tool and just click and drag over it and you can change the font there. I'm using Berlin Sands FB there. Uh, let's duplicate this layer. Instead of pressing Control J or Command J, let's just Alt or Option click and drag it. And I'm just going to double click the T here. I'm going to type in leaves. It's a little bit too large though, so we're going to bring that down and drag the corner there so 
something like that. Okay. Press enter. And now we just want to um, create a clipping mask. So these two, let's combine. So click that top text layer, click the other one, and press Control or Command E. That will combine them. Alternatively, you could just go to Layer and then uh, Merge Layers. So now let's click and drag this patterned layer above the text layer that we have. It's rasterized though because we combined two of them. And press Alt or Option and click as you hover your mouse in between the two layers. So Alt if you're using a PC, Option if you're using the Mac. And then just click. Alright, there we go. So we have the pattern here. Now let's click the visibility of this bottom layer and what's kind of cool is you, if we just slightly move this bottom layer, you start to see the layer. It's kind of a cool effect. You see the the, the type above it. All right, but I want to do a little bit more than that. So I just actually want to rotate it a little bit. All right, so let's rotate it like that. And it's still not quite readable, so we need to just change the background so it's even a little bit more different from. Uh, the top layer there. So what we can do, I'm going to uh, go to image adjustments, hue saturation, and then just move that hue to the left and right. And then you can kind of create that look that will differentiate the back. All right. You can also go to filter, blur, you know, Gaussian blur or even a motion blur depending on what kind of look you're going for. Let's bring that down a little bit, something like that. Just depends on what you're looking for. And then if you want to fill out that back area, just create a new layer, drag it to the bottom, and uh, let's just make a white background there. Just press Alt or Option Backspace. It will fill the back layer with whatever the foreground color is. All right, so that's how you create kind of that uh, cool look of filling text with a uh, pattern and then creating the same pattern behind it but just adjusting the hue or adding effect like uh, a blur filter for example. Alright, thanks. If you like this video be sure to subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel, fan us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Links are in the description. Thanks.